Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It comes in 148 scale and it should be handy with F4, F3 aircraft in 148 scale of course from Edward. So here we have a chance to copy wheel bay and this brushing set will bring more features to your plastic model and this might be handy in case you would like to do a really detailed build. And of course we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the the same stuff kit number is 648795 you can see this wheel bay here and note this small sign it's a print sign so it means that all parts are actually 3d printed and that's a technology which was recently embraced by edward and as you can see they use it more and more often for various accessory sets and this one is not an exclusion so it will be interesting to check how these parts are actually made here so the box and the packaging is typical for this brass and wine you can see also that here we have price tech it's 26.95 and here on the rear side you will find some information about the manufacturer here we have safety advices as usual everything is sealed with the tape so I'm going to cut through it right now and we will check everything together but again I have to repeat myself um, exactly what I said in the original video review of the plastic kit that original plastic parts actually offer you a really nice features out of the box but this brushing set actually gives you a chance to copy more fine features which are almost impossible to mold with help of the plastic and of course it will also increase the cost of the original kit so that's why Edward decided to give it as a as you can see uh, 3d printed set and we have a lot of interesting stuff here as you can see parts are packed into the separate plastic bag so we are going to open them one by one and check what is actually included here so we have three plastic bags and one of them is really impressive so i will add or i will show it in the end first of all i would like to show what is actually supplied in other two so here we have the first pair of parts and as you can see they are placed on really thin resin supports so it should be easy to cut them off but of course you will have to clean them because otherwise it will be not a smooth surface and as far as you can see a lot of features are actually helped with uh, 3d print because otherwise it would be really troublesome to get them with help of classic casting out of resin and that actually shows that this modern technology is here to be and I really doubt that it will be abandoned because as you can see it allows Edward to copy even more stuff out of the box and that's why this brushing set gets even more meaning I would say even more value because you get some features which are uh, quite problematic to copy in plastic and you have to build them as a separate parts in previous resin sets here as you can see this complex part is actually 3d printed as a single piece part so you don't have to attach anything you just have to separate it paint it properly and you'll be good to go and this is really a beauty of this 3d printed technology because it should speed up the overall assembly it gives you the right alignment of the parts out of the box and the only thing which should be worrying uh, you is how to separate them without damaging them but I don't think it's a really difficult thing and the perfect example is actually on the next resin support so here is this thing is oh so we have actually several parts so first of all I will show you this one it's really impressive because that's a single piece part you just have to delete the resin supports and they might look misleading but as you can see it should be easy to navigate where you have to cut out just do not hurry and you will be good to go but that's one piece thin part with the right alignment out of the box and that's actually a really cool thing because sometimes these elements are really tricky to get into the right position and here you get them in the proper position straight out of the package and next we continue also with this chain drives for the landing gear i'm trying to focus the camera now so that you can see yeah now you should be able to see that these are also casted as a single piece parts so these are relatively simple parts especially in comparison with what we saw before but that's not all as you remember in the original plastic kit we have one of the bulkheads also serving as the wing support so it is copied here and as you can see this is a really impressive part we have a lot of resin supports here you have to cut them out all of them 
but note the quality of this let's say pre-printed elements they look really good the surface details look amazing of course here on the rear side you will have to sand everything in order to be smooth but again all these elements it's really unusual to see it out of the box and here we do not have to add anything we get it like this without any further additions but that's not all let's move all these parts to the side and check the assembly manual which is printed in a typical edward styling so here we have this small brochure and you can notice that we have a small 3d printed parts map on the cover so in order to start assembly with the bracing set you usually remove this middle section and that's our these are the first steps. So here on the first step you can see that the um, mount which was casted as a single piece part and as you can see it will have to be combined with this part which will be actually inserted inside. That's quite interesting parts design but it should be doable just pay attention to how these parts will align between each other. Next we continue with this uh, parts which we saw in the beginning of the review it means these ones so they are getting installed from both sides and then we continue with various minor elements note that the manufacturer also suggests to use metal wire 0.5 millimeters thickness it will be necessary in order to replicate the wiring on the actual subject so be careful with this next we continue with this tank so here it is that's the step number five again we use metal wire for various pipings here we have two different thicknesses as far as you can see actually they are different from the previous one but there is the same and here we have the thinner one so 0.7 here and 0.35 here pay attention to this because it will be really important in order to preserve the um, up to scale appearance now you can hear I'm trying to get the next page because here on the next page we continue with wiring and that's really surprising that a lot of wiring will have to be actually copied with help of your own material. So be sure to get all the necessary thicknesses because here we have 0.35 and 0.5. Also we installed these chain drives which we saw earlier and if I flip it over here you can see more wiring going into this set so again we have thicknesses 0 0.35 0 0.5 and that's pretty much all so that's the most used thicknesses as you can see but there is a lot of wiring to be replicated and that's something to be uh, sure to get the right elements in order to be installed there and next i can see that we combine actually this main wheel well with the original plastic winding gear lx so that's the beauty of this set because original plastic parts should work nicely with what we get here and here on the opposite side you can see the final steps so you install this main wheel well between fuselage halves and as you remember this ribs or these struts they actually serve as a wing support from both sides as you can see so this is also quite important thing to remember so overall i think this is a really <laughs> impressive build especially in 148 scale and if you know how to show it on the finished model that's definitely a thing to install into your aircraft here on the last page we have the parts map by the way and also the colors chart and whole set should be already available together with the new version of the Hellcat, it means F4, F3. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list, do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.